Hey, what's going on, everybody? Got another video here for us today. Gonna do a handful of different things here. Just, uh, four different things I want to do. First, I gotta show off this, uh, you know, this Don Mattingly card that I picked off, picked up off of somebody on a Facebook group. They had busted open a a box of 1994 Flair. Um, looking for, I think it was 94. Yeah, 94 Flair. Looking for an A Rod rookie card. And they found this cool pack. It had the a Don Mattingly insert on it. It was a hot glove insert, and it's like a die cut. And you know, they said, "I know there's lots of Mattingly fans out there. Anybody be interested in this?" And I picked it up. I think I paid ten bucks for that. So it's still I got it in a little team bag here. But I'm, I'm gonna keep that sealed up for us. Uh, the other thing, a couple other things here. I don't know what it is. I, I kept this card out, but this 2021 Tops update, uh, Brad Hand. I don't know what it is about that card, but I think that this may possibly be the most boring baseball card of all time. Um, I don't. I don't know what it is about this card, but every time I look at it, it's the pose. Maybe it's Brad Hand. Maybe that's the name. I don't know, but there's just something about that card that I think is unbelievably boring. So. Let me know. Do you can you think of any other card that is more boring than this card? The other thing, two more things I want to do. I want to get through this box of '89 Upper Deck that we had searching for the King Griffey Jr. rookie card, and I'm going to do that right now. Open these six packs up here, see if we can hit the Griffey, and then the final final thing we're going to do. A little bit of a surprise. It's something I've been holding on to for a while and hadn't decided what I wanted to do with it. I have decided now. Oh, Rick Cerrone. Rick Russell, Paul O'Neill. So that pack kind of a dud. Something I've been holding on to, like I said, and I finally got up the nerve to rip it there's a clue finally got up the nerve to rip it open alvin davis chris carpenter not the chris carpenter that was good jeff robinson there's an ozzy smith mvp i said it in other videos but i love that i love those mvp cards Some, just something about hitting those when you when i was a kid really enjoyed those A nice Hall of Famer on top here, Tim Raines, Jose Canseco. Oh, check it out, Don Mattingly, Wade Boggs. Whew. Oh, that was Barry Larkin peeking out of the back with a gorgeous, gorgeous wax stain. If you can see that on there, Let's see, we got a one of those. Dark purple ones coming up here. There's a Ripken. Man, this pack has just been loaded with Hall of Famers. Ripken, Boggs, Reigns. All right. We see a K. That's the color we're looking for. Do we see a K? Oh, it's a Diamond King of Corey Snyder. There's another purple one right behind it. Oh, a checklist. So a Corey Snyder, Diamond King, and a checklist. That could be... One of the most disappointing things that's ever happened in my life. I'm just kidding. All right. Next up, <clears throat> Shane Rawley. Another Hall of Famer. Roberto Alomar. Hojo. And Greg Harris rated a rookie. Andy Van Slyke. Come on, do we got a K? Do we have a K? We don't. We have Tom Candiotti, Fernando Mania, Ricky, and an Andre Dawson MVP. We do get a Griffey. I just don't want it to be on the back of the pack with a giant wax stain. This one is not going to be. We got Cecilio. Guante, Tom Needham, Fewer, Dave Schmidt, Keith Atherton. There's a dark purple one here. No, 
Mark Gray, second year card. Will Clark. Slow roll these. Oh, it's Ed Whitson. Close to King Griffey Jr., but not quite. All right, last pack of this stack. I don't remember how many I had left in there. I think maybe like 15, 16 packs. I honestly don't remember. I just grabbed a, a stack and just went with these six packs. All right. What do we got here? Pasqual Perez, Carney Lansford, Kevin Seitzer, Greg Swindell. Got a couple purples coming up here. No. Jesse Orozco. Come on. Roger Clemens. We got another one of those colors back there. Bill Ripken. And Steve Lyons. Harold Reynolds and Bo Diaz and we Lloyd Mosby ends it. Um, probably the best card. I mean a very off-center 10 cent Don Mattingly, 89 Don Russ. All right, so that brings me to the final thing, the final little surprise. If you've watched any of my other videos, you saw I opened a box of Topps Rip, and I said I had not decided what I wanted to do. So I thought, because it's a low number, it's low number 10 out of 15. So a Topps Rip says we get an exclusive mini base an exclusive image a variation or an autograph tear if you dare well today i dare i'm gonna go ahead and rip this vladdy jr out of 15. i'm gonna rip it open kind of hurts just a little bit but it's been sitting there and i thought what the heck i'm gonna give it a shot we're gonna rip this bad boy and see if we got an autograph inside here Oh, man. Now you get to see me make a fool of myself and try to get that peeled down here. Let's see. There we go. Maybe that'll do it right in there. There we go. I think that might be it. So there's the card. We'll do it nice and slow. tell who that is because that may be was it Jordan Alvarez maybe Jordan Alvarez I can't really tell might be Jordan let's see if we see some ink on there I would love to see some ink if not then I just oh man no ink no ink just ripped it open hopefully it's hopefully it's a, a very low number Pull that out of there and it is numbered 20 out of 40 so i don't know would have been maybe better off to leave it sealed quite possibly but you never know i just had the urge to rip that open and sometimes you get burnt sometimes you don't but hey 20 out of 40 very low number ended up with You know, went from a number out of 15 to a number out of 40. So can't win them all, but that's the chance you take, right? So hope you enjoyed that. And uh, remember, let me know. What's one of the most boring baseball cards that you can think of? Let me know in the comments. And I will catch you on the next one. See ya.